Hi, so I called this one more redox for Margaret because I wanted to go through some of the rules um, when you attack a uh, reaction that you're supposed to analyze for redox. So um, let's go through some of the rules and then maybe I'll put that on a second page. But um, elements um, are zero. So that can be something like a diatomic, like hydrogen or oxygen or fluorine or bromine or chlorine. Whenever you see those in a um, reaction, they always have a zero oxidation state. So rules for oxidation number. Um, it's not really the same thing as charges. Um, it's sort of a counting method for a reaction. Um, now, monoatomic ions... are not the pure element like I just did above, but they're things that might be in solution like chloride or sodium ions or calcium ions. Um, whenever you see those, the charges that that ion has is the oxidation number. Um, one of the rules that's pretty foolproof is fluorine. Fluorine almost always is a minus one. Um, the halogens... Um, are minus one except um, when bound to fluorine. They could be other things um, or oxygen. Um, oxygen is usually a minus two unless um, another rule takes precedent. Um, for that reason, I should not have done it right now because the rule that takes precedent is something like alkali um, metals um, are plus one. So potassium and uh, sodium and um, lithium, all those guys are plus one. So what would you do if you had Na2O2? This rule is actually higher up, so you assign the plus one first on the sodium because this molecule has two of them, that means there's a total of plus two in the whole thing. But notice that the whole molecule is neutral. So if that's true, the only way that that could be is for oxygen to be a minus one. So that's what I meant up here when I said unless another rule takes precedent. Another higher up rule that I totally forgot is hydrogen. When hydrogen is with a non-metal, it's always a plus one. If it's with a metal, then it's minus one. And so you might think of something like water, H2O. Each hydrogen is a plus one, each oxygen is minus two. In this case, the hydrogen has the higher precedent, and so then the oxygen flows from that. Now, there is a strange molecule called hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen's rule is more important, so in that case, oxygen's a minus one. So that was another, I gave you two examples that were exceptions of the oxygen rule. Hydrogen with a metal is kind of rare. You see it like something like this, or you see it like something like this. So in that case, notice that the alkali metal rule is higher up, so those rules are more important. And so you get stuff like that. You get a lithium or sodium plus one with hydrogen minus one. Okay? So I'm looking at a problem right now on my OWL um, assignment, and this is, an, this is an equation that they give the students, and it's already balanced, but they ask them to an analyze it for oxidation numbers and who's reduced and who's oxidized. So here I have two things that are uh, elements. Um, whoops. So the chlorine and the mercury are both neutral elements, so they're zero. Remember, that's the rule up top. This is a monoatomic ion, which is a minus one, and this mercury is a plus two. So if I look at what happens to chlorine, it goes from zero to minus one. So that means it gained one electron, and so that's called reduction. Going from zero to plus two for the Hg lost two electrons, and so if you lose two electrons, you're getting oxidized. That's the whole Leo goes Ger oxidation. Whoops. All right. When something's reduced, so the Cl2 is reduced that means it's the oxidizing agent. 
for mercury, since it got oxidized, it is the reducing agent. Okay, let's try one more. I'm going to look at the next problem here. Um, on my chart, they show a little movie, and they show copper ions that are blue in solution um, is in a beaker of water and they make a little movie with zinc solid and then the blue goes away and what you see is the um, solid gets kind of brown looking that's the solid copper and the zinc ions go into solution. Okay, what's going on here? Well, let's assign the oxidation numbers. Zinc is an element, it's zero. Copper is an element, it's zero. Uh, the copper is a monoatomic ion, so that's plus two, and the zinc is plus two. This one does not have too much complication in it. So the copper, you know, if it goes from plus two to uh, zero, it means that it gained two electrons, and the zinc lost two electrons. So, the copper is reduced, and it's the oxidizing agent. Um, the zinc is oxidized, so it's the reducing agent. And there is that question.